Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff to talk about today. Okay, so, what's good everybody, it's your boy Jason Pies 4 here. And it is cold as hell as in this back room as well. And today, I have three different videos that need to be put out today. Yes, three, and they're very, very informative, kinda, I guess. I don't know, shut up. Anyway, point is, I have three videos that need to be put out. And there's, because at least one of them you, you at least know. Kurikatsu Story, and Worlds in Harem came out yesterday and no one informed me so i had to watch that episode this morning and damn we are eating good and obviously number and this one is obviously about pokemon and the whole dmca thing and my feelings toward it and how i think dmca is actually really ridiculous when it comes to certain people when it comes to pokemon and this dmca stuff in case you don't know last night she got banned on twitch basically for streaming the avatar and doing like a sitting and watching tv type of stream basically that and basically she got banned i'm like oh okay that that's actually kind of fair and then all of a sudden you know she getting banned for 48 hours 48 hours for copyright and this is the nonsense thing i don't understand how can super popular people just get away with shit like this this is the thing that i don't understand you have totally not mark someone that was doing using copyrighted works yes but also was transforming it in a way that it was original and something that Toei shouldn't even be able to take down honestly. So I don't understand how that's possible. But Toei took it down and he never got all those videos back. He is still missing a ton of videos and has taken out a whole ass like mental toll on him honestly. To the point he got really really messed up and sad and honestly I hate that the campaign stopped but you know it is what it is. But Compare that situation and compare this to Pokemon and what is going on right now. Now, I'm mostly obviously now. Also, I'm not going to use any picture of Pokemon just because I don't want her to come out of nowhere and just DMCA my ass. But honestly, it just seems weird. I don't understand the entire. I don't understand how this is just possible. And it just goes to show copyright is really, really dumb. It's in itself, obviously, because you have someone that is literally transforming the work of what of what the original product was of what the original product was not like streaming it or reacting to it or anything but legit transforming it in different ways and it was fair use but it can but it totally just be like nah fam that's not fair use we're not going to use that and we're not going to let you have those videos and then Toei came in and just threw the hammer down on mark but then we get pokemon all of a sudden nothing wrong absolutely nothing wrong which goes to get, which goes to show again twitch's do twitch is a nothing more than an absolute clown honestly i don't understand how popular people could just get away with a lot of the crap they do and then everything is just fun and right in the world like three seconds later i i don't understand how that's actually a thing mainly the big reason why i probably think that this is the case is mainly because pokemon just makes twitch a lot of money and that's really all you need to know. That's pretty much all you would ever want to know when it comes to being a big popular company. Is that if you ain't making us money, we don't care. Let this be someone else. Guarantee you, they're going to get permanent banned. And then that's going to be wraps for them. They won't be able to do anything else unless they go on a different platform and do stuff that way. And it's really ridiculous. I don't understand how one person can be the, excep can be the ex exception, but everybody else can't be. And really, more so, a bunch of popular people, it's just being the exception. I feel like there should be some rule that even if you are popular, even if you are, you know, someone that makes a lot of money, even if that is the case, if you are doing something deliberately wrong, obviously, like in this situation with Pokemon watching Avatar, knowing it's copyrighted content, then you should be able to lose, you should be able to get a harsh punishment, honestly. You should be able to get something harsh for that your for what you have done. Now, granted, I understand if it was a situation where she was using it in a transformative way, which will probably never happen. But if she was using it in a transformative way, then that and then they get hit with copyright. That that's absolutely like wait what? So of course you would want to fight back on that, and that's absolutely fine to fight back on. It. But 48 hours ain't punishment. That's just a time spending with your family on the weekend. That's not really anything that's really horrible or worrisome honestly it's so ridiculous 
I don't necessarily get that. It's weird. And if it if it's not for the eight hours and it is something different, then please let me know. But if even because think about it like this, even if Pokemon loses her entire streaming cert entire streaming setup and stuff, guess what? She has a whole company that she has that will pretty much take care of her without the necessary use of really just streaming, honestly. And yes, while it would still suck to lose your livelihood and what you start out on, it still would it still really wouldn't matter because she's still getting money somewhere. So it doesn't it's not like she's gonna be broke or something after this is done. So, you know, it's a bit so again, it's just a bit ridiculous when it comes down to it. It just goes to show that popular people can just do anything and you got the small people on the side that are just suffering and getting their ass beat time and time again and not being able to do anything. And when people are trying to you know grow and do stuff people don't either take a chance on them and they are just being like compared to the other popular people that already exist not giving them that chance either in that way which really sucks popular people just get way too much leverage it's like what happened with antonio brown recently honestly if you have watched, if you are the type of person that watch football y'all know antonio brown left the football field out of nowhere and honestly the whole entire thing was just a bit crazy it was all too crazy honestly I watched Chisel Adonis talking about it a little bit last night, and I have to agree, the man is an absolute clown, if I'm being perfectly, perfectly honest. But does this really hurt him super badly? Not really. This man could make, this man could just, just really miss out on the opportunity just to make more money, honestly. But he didn't do that because he wanted to promote his Netflix series, which is absolutely ridiculous. But point is, what I want to get to is essentially, Antonio Brown has a whole laundry list of things this man has done and messed stuff over and had done mistakes and problem and had problems with time and time again and yet still people take a chance for whatever reason same thing with pokemon she has a laundry list of stuff that she has done probably a lot shorter but still she has got some stuff under her belt too and still people are willing to take a chance especially companies and whatever the freak other people have and it's really really ridiculous so i don't understand Again, how can big creators just be absolutely fine with doing all this stuff and don't really care and the companies that they are working for or under don't really care but the moment a small streamer or a small YouTuber were to do something like this instantly ban, no one cares, you're just a faceless voice in the crowd and that's just absolutely disgusting. Which is all the more reason why I said, no I'm never going to Twitch, I would never even dare to step foot on Twitch. Trovo is a place I would go and honestly it just seems fun over there honestly so definitely trovo will be the place i will go exactly why i said i would never go to twitch even at this point even if i signed like a million dollar contract i don't think i would even go to twitch even though i really need the money but still i don't think i would ever do that so you know this entire situation just really ridiculous something that should have been more punished on but didn't because that's just how it is and when it comes to fair use there is no such thing as fair use fair use is a term that doesn't exist when it comes to certain situations and certain things and certain people fair use is literally just like latin it's a dead language honestly so when you see things like this i want you to remember what the hell totally not mart went through and come and just look at what pokemon is going through right now this is literally considered a cakewalk rather than what mark went through honestly so that's what I wanted to cover for this one. We have another video on the way because a lot of things today. So definitely stay tuned for as many videos as you see, which is only going to be three. And thankfully I did the Koyasu story yesterday because if I did have to edit it today, I'll be mad as hell. But yeah, that's all I want to talk about for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on the way out. Also follow me on Twitter to talk and like the next channel, Patreon and Ko-Fi is available as well. Until then, this is Wojay, signing off. Have a blessed time. Oh,